We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. So are you ready? Because I'm ready, okay? We have some more Kardashian news, and this time it's concerning Kourtney Kardashian and her ex-fiance, aka her baby daddy, Lord Scott Disick, okay? So basically what's going down is that yesterday it hit the blogs that Scott Disick is now dating 19-year-old Sophia Richie. Now we all know Sophia Richie as the girl that, you know, she was basically Justin Bieber's jump off, okay? Justin Bieber was smashing her on the balcony and fingering her and doing all types of just ratchet shit and it was getting photographed and you know shown all over the world so you know after you know he did his thing he basically dropped her ass like a hot potato she's also Lionel Richie's daughter and Nicole Richie's little sister and she's off the chain right now and right now uh, she's basically dating 35 year old Scott Disick okay and she's 19 years old so she's around the same age as Kylie and Kendall and matter of fact she's very close with the Kardashians you know she grew up with them Scott watched her grow up and now he's basically banging her you you know, but the craziest thing of all this is that Scott Disick used to date Chloe Bartoli, and Chloe Bartoli is Sophia Richie's longtime friend and her mentor. Chloe Bartoli is 27 years old, and you know, she basically helped to look out for Richie in the industry and got her into modeling and all this other stuff. And so she was dating Scott Disick for over a year. And when she found out that Sophia hooked up with Scott and that now they're dating, she basically cut Sophia off and they're no longer friends. And it's sad because they used to be like sisters. They were best of friends. They were inseparable. You know, again, I keep trying to tell y'all there's no real sisterhood, okay? If your man has it and he's doing the damn thing, they don't care if you're like sisters to them, if you're their best friend. If your man is willing to holler at them, they're going to go ahead and holler back. That's how a lot of these females are getting now nowadays. I'm not shocked at all by what happened between between Chloe and Sophia Richie. So now in other news, a lot of folks have been waiting to see what um, Kourtney Kardashian has to say about the situation because she is so young and the fact that they do share three children together. As we all know, their oldest is Mason with his adorable self. He's seven now. Then they have five-year-old Penelope and then they have two-year-old Rain. So those are the three children that they share together. So basically, this is what Kourtney Kardashian says. So basically, sources told US Weekly the following, okay? So there's saying that Courtney thinks the fling with Sophie is a little weird, but nothing shocks her anymore. Courtney just wants Scott to be his old self. She shares three kids with him, so she'll always want the best for him and will always make sure that he's happy. Now, in other news, as we all know, Khloe Kardashian is 38 years old, and she doesn't have time to worry about Scott. She's getting some new young pain, okay? She's dating this supermodel, and his name is Jonas Bendemia. I not probably chopped up his name, honey. But they've been dating since December 2016, and he's 24 years old, and they're going strong. So at this point in time, she's in a really good place with her new young boo. So she has no time to worry about Scott Disick and who he's choosing to throw his peen at. And, you know, at the end of the day, I do want Scott to be happy. I feel like Courtney treated him like crap. I mean, he also did a lot of, you know, just stupid stuff on the show. We all know he's an alcoholic. He struggles with alcoholism. He lost both of his parents. He's been through a lot. But I also feel like, you know, Courtney kept having all these kids when he didn't want any more children. And she basically used him as a sperm donor so that way her kids would have the same father. And then, you know, dropped him like a bad habit. So, you know, hopefully Scott will eventually find happiness. But I don't see 34-year-old Scott finding happiness in 19-year-old Sophia Richie. This to me is nothing but a fling. He's just getting off on her, and that's it. And today it's been announced that paparazzis, they ended up catching Scott sneaking Sophia Richie, who is 19, into a club in Miami. And so a lot of people are giving him the side eye. The club on Miami Beach is supposed to be 21 and up, but of course she got into story because of who she's with. And when you're a Kardashian or when you roll with the Kardashians, you don't necessarily have to follow the rules, okay? So that's how she got into story, even though she's 19 years old. So this entire situation is going to be really Really interesting to see how this plays out but again I don't see anything serious coming from this I just feel like Scott is just hitting it you know he just has some young arm candy on his arm and he really doesn't care I don't see it being anything too serious in the long run but I also feel like Sophia needs to you know kind of slow down before she kind of gets wore out out here in the industry okay so she tends to like older guys and there's nothing wrong with that but again you don't want the reputation of being passed around every you know six months you're with another guy so it's going to be interesting like I said to see how all this plays out are you guys here for the relationship 
Do you think that the relationship is just ratchet and he has no business getting with this 19 year old? And then how do you feel about Sophia basically, you know what I'm saying, taking her best friend's man and now, you know, sleeping with him and dating him and everything else when she was really, really cool with Chloe? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.